New Zealand's Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters has raised doubts over Canada's claim of an alleged potential Indian link in the killing of Khalistan separatist Hardeep Singh Nichar. New Zealand, a member of the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance alongside the US, Canada, UK and Australia has reportedly received intelligence from Canada regarding the Nichar case. During an interview with leading Indian newspaper, Peters expressed scepticism about the evidence provided by Canada. On the question of New Zealand had conveyed its position to India, Peters, who is on an official visit to India, having met EAM as Jayashankar said, he was not involved in the handling of the matter, which the previous government primarily managed. Peter in an interview said, and I quote, as a trained lawyer, look okay, so where is the case? Where is the evidence? Where is the finding right here, right now? Well, there is not one, unquote. This marks the first instance of a Five Eyes partner openly questioning Canada's claims regarding Nijjar case. Nijjar, as a designated terrorist in India, was shot and killed as he came out of a Gurdwara in Surrey, British Columbia on 18 June 2023. His death sparked a massive diplomatic row between India and Canada in which Prime Minister Trudeau made unsubstantiated allegations against Indian government for the involvement in Nijjar killing on Canadian soil. According to Indian government, they have been asking for evidence, but nothing has been provided to them by Canadian side. Even other Five Eyes partner countries have either kept silence on the issue or made their high-ranking officials talk about it. But this is for the first time that Deputy Prime Ministerial rank dignitaries openly raising doubts on the evidence and merits of the allegations levelled by Canada against India. As a matter of fact, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCPM, has yet to name suspects or make arrests in connection with the killing. In fact, in the courts or anywhere else, the trial has not begun in this matter or evidence has not been made public, which could be perhaps the reason that now even Five Eyes partner countries have started questioning the merits of the allegations made by Canada against Indian involvement.